Hi guys, this is Ari from TechShare. Today I am going to show you guys the very first glimpse of uh, XM Cloud. Um, today I got access in XM Cloud. Um, so right now it is restricted, so you cannot access. Uh, but if you are a if you are a MPP or um, you know SiteGrid employee, then obviously you could have. Um, but yeah, let me go and create a project quickly. So in the this is SiteGrid Cloud portal. Uh, so SiteGrid will basically give all those options here, introduce all those options or, you know, project and everything that, uh, I mean, Sitecore has a you know, wide range of different um, uh, offering in the cloud, right? So you will be able to create everything from here. So that probably the idea. Um, so yeah, let me go, let me click this manage project and you will be in that uh, deploy portal, they say, Sitecore said. So in the deploy pro portal, what do we need to do? We need to create your first project so here there are two options start from start from a standard template start from your existing so i'm going to select this one next and then basically you will have two different sort of you know uh, template so you can start this uh, you know summit demo or xm cloud starter kit so let me select this summit demo and the project name i will say um, summit demo uh, app and then next. The next thing is you need to connect with the GitHub uh, that I already did. So I need to use my next and the project name, uh, Summit Demo App. And then environment name, I am going to use my environment Arif Dev ENV. Is it a production? No. And then trigger deployment on commit to branch, which I really want. So I'm going to use this one as yes. And create deploy, that would take around uh, eight to 12 minutes or so. Um, so what I'll do is, um, let me see what is happening, yep. So now it will basically, see they are all starting, started. So provisioning, building and deployment. So internally what it will do is it will connect to the base repository of Sitecore, grab that template for us, basically a source repository, source code. And then it will push that source code to my GitHub. And then um, basically from there, it will configure provision, build, deploy, right? So at the end of this process, what we'll get is, a fresh repository or source code in our repository or your repository and from there you can start uh, you can create your feature you can do whatever you need to do based on your requirements or work that you're going to do so after 10 or 30 minutes i will jump back again and i'll show you the rest of the things so today's video would be my idea is i'm going to create four five six whatever the number of videos based on the xm cloud and i'm going to show you guys all those different things and also I'll try to create a fully flexed application there so that you can basically go and do certain things. And I will also put everything in the repository so that you can also access it, access it okay? Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'll jump back to you guys once this is finished. This is step, it will take around eight to 12 minutes based on the, you know, um, certain resources and everything here. Uh, and then I'll, I'll let you um, uh, continue from there. I'll continue from there, all right, cool. All right, guys, so that process has completed. So let me now go into that launch pad. And this launch pad is slightly different in terms of look and feel. Um, since it is, you know, cloud oriented launch pad, so you will see some, you know, different applications or other applications, uh, which normally you don't see in, in the typical site called launch pad. Uh, so in terms of look and feel, it's, it will take some time initially. So see here, they are basically slightly different. So you have a page application and basically page is similar like experience editor, but a bit lightweight. So those who already use that Horizon apps, they are basically that. So site could introduce that one here in the cloud. There are components app, explorer app, and then in the content editor and everything. So let me jump into the content editor and see if actually we're having the same look and feel that we used to have in the typical site screen instance. I'll go and check that now. Since we are actually opening at the very first time, it will basically take some time, extra time, and then we'll be able to see that one here. All right. 
So now you can see they are all coming through and this is our website that the template basically or site code out of the box created for us sort of a jump start for us so now what i'll do is i'll um, i'll do one thing i'll uh, go this portal and i'll go to the project uh, page and then you can see here this is the environment i created and um, there are a lot of different options interesting option here is you can basically see a lot of uh, you can do a lot do a lot of different things so you can go the launch pad pad directly from here or you can preview your uh, application that you just created so if i now click here then we'll be able to see that headless application running here um, and not coming most likely some issues inside core but let me open from here so this is the application right and this is the home page uh, let me preview this app and see if that gives us anything or not. If not, then I would have thought some issues in Sitecore. Uh, but ideally, that should uh, that should open. Uh, if not, then ah uh, yeah. So this is the application um, that it is a saw. Uh, somehow I'm not sure why but this preview should also give us the same sort of look and feel sort of a rendering host kind of environment where uh, you know your application is running but it is not at this moment not working I'm not 100% sure why but see how the application is running here right and then they basically very nice look and feel application a lot of contents are here and you can basically do a lot of different things here go different pages so now uh, if you go and check your source code in the github repository and download it in your local you can basically run from there too and then you can basically execute the sitecore cloud commands to communicate from your console or your command prompt in your local to uh, do different things like connect to your uh, project here uh, here and then um, you know um, uh, you, you might need to access different configuration environment file everything you can do you can create delete you know all those CLI you will be able to uh, all those command you will be able to do through the CLI cloud CLI that will get out of the box through the source repository that site could pushed already in your repository uh, I think that's for today the next video what I'll do is I will download that source code for you guys and then I will um open that project in front of you guys and i will run that project in in the local environment uh so that that would be basically a uh, uh a docker based application and basically you can trigger you can spin up that instance docker instance and you can you'll be able to see all this you know environment running in your local and you can do communicate publish you know you can do everything from here so that would be my second video for now i think that's all you would already have some idea about sitecore xm cloud platform and how does that look like and this is totally native uh sitecore uh, and we you know sitecore brought that local or native uh, you know uh, code base or product to cloud massive massive effort <laughs> And I'm, I'm really, really interested and looking forward to see how does that perform and how uh, Sitecore community already, you know, uh, appreciated and acknowledges that this is possibly the best idea or product that's coming through Sitecore. So we're also very, very interested. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys that other thing. Uh, till then, have a good day. Bye-bye. See you soon.